Hello, and welcome to this video where we are going to introduce you to making a homepage on Google Sites. By the end of this video, you should know how to add the basics of what makes a homepage, such as adding text, adding a header, and adding a photo. Now let's get started. From your Google account, and this can be your Gmail account, Drive, or any of the other features in Google, you will click the nine boxes near the top right of the screen. Here, you will find the Google Apps. In order to get to Google Sites, click this box and find Google Sites. To create a new Google Site, you can just click Create on the left-hand side. And in this video, I'm going to make a new site in the new Google Sites because it is much easier than the classic sites. And now we can start creating our template for our Google Site. Here we have Insert, you can add text boxes, images, we can embed things from different websites, as well as we have different layouts that can be used. We have pages for when we want to add more pages, as well as themes for changing the themes. So if I want this color, I can change it here. If I want to change the title style, I can change it here as well. To begin, first off, I'm going to go up to the corner and title the website into what I want it to be. In this case, it's going to be my ePortfolio, and I'm going to edit this header here. And on this main page, I'm going to want basic information about who I am. So I'm going to go into the Insert tab and drag and drop this layout, which has an image and text box. In this box, I'm going to have a header that is a purpose statement or my teaching philosophy. In this box, I'm going to explain more information about myself and what this ePortfolio is going to entail. In this area, I'm going to select an image of myself to add. If you don't feel comfortable with your image on the website, please go to one of these websites and create an avatar which looks similar to you. I am just going to select an image of myself that I have here. I'll make it bigger so it looks natural. And there we go. This is now my main page for my ePortfolio. If I want to preview it, I can click here. If I don't want to preview it, I can click here. For your virtual lab, you will be doing a technology evaluation. If I did want to add another page, such as a place for my technology evaluation in my ePortfolio, I can just click here and add tech evaluation. And now I have a place where my virtual lab can be housed. Thank you for watching this brief video on how to create an ePortfolio. If you want, the resources for the avatars will be listed below this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask the EDU 210 team. Thank you.